I hope you are sitting down with a cup of chai because that's the best way to watch this video because chai is just love my friends chai is just love this is seven ring India's first contactless payment ring completely made in India by Indians when I first saw about this ring on Twitter I was like who is gonna need this why does this product exist is it any good well to find answers to all these questions I ordered the seven ring I've been using it for the past couple of days and let's talk about it First up, we have the unboxing experience. The packaging is very Apple-esque. It feels like I'm unboxing a pair of AirPods. Opening up the box, the first thing inside is a sleeve which says designed by Seven in India. Nice. Inside this sleeve, we get some paperwork which is boring and we'll keep that aside. And next up inside the box, we have the ring itself. It's securely placed inside this cork holder and let's remove it. I like the color and finish of this ring. It has this shiny finish which looks classy. Now you can also use this cork holder later on to securely place the ring so that it doesn't get any scratches. But anyway, those were the box contents. Now you might have noticed that there is no charger inside the box. That is because this ring does not have any battery and does not require any charging of salt. It's a passive wearable device which draws power from the POS machine. So when you do payments with this ring, it will draw power from the POS machine and does not have any battery of its own. Basically, it's just like a credit or debit card with contactless payment. But with that being said, the seven ring is very different from a credit card. Let me explain. First up, the way payments work with this ring is that you have to make a fist while wearing the ring and then touch your fist on the POS machine. If you don't make a fist, the payment will not go through. So it's not like anyone can tap a POS machine on the ring and then make a payment. You have to make a fist and then only the payment will go through. So it's more secure as compared to a credit or debit card and that is excellent. Now I did try this out making payments without making a fist and it did not work. And this fist bumping onto the POS machine is extremely cool. Now the second way in which this ring is different to a credit card is that it is not linked to your bank account. It has a prepaid wallet of its own so you need to add money to that prepaid wallet and then all the transactions are processed from that wallet. So I feel that is an added layer of security that it is not directly linked to your bank account. You have to add money and then you can use that money. And yeah there is an app that comes along with this ring. Super straightforward app, very easy to use, very straightforward and that's exactly what I like about it. Now one interesting fact here is that this ring is actually linked to a debit card. It's a rupee debit card and for now you cannot use it for online transactions. Maybe in the future they will enable that feature but right now you can only use it offline with this ring and there is a limit of 5000 rupees for per transaction. That is the RBI limit so they cannot go above it. You can do a single transaction of maximum 5000 rupees with this ring because it is a contactless payment ring. Also this ring is not connected to your smartphone. It does not have any battery Bluetooth with nothing it has nfc built in and a prepaid wallet in the cloud and that's how it works basically just like a credit or debit card and yeah it is ip68 rated so you don't need to worry about water and dust now it's time to answer some important questions <laughs> They have a ring size measuring guide video on their website. You have to watch that video, follow the step-by-step -step guide and then you will get your ring size. Now if you are not happy with the ring size, if it is too tight, too small, then you can ask for a free replacement. There is one free replacement available. So once you unbox the ring, you try it on. If you don't like the fit, then there is a free replacement available only once. And a quick note here, the replacement has to be done activation so before activating the ring you have to try it on if it doesn't fit then instantly apply for replacement if you activate the ring then it will not be replaced let me have a sip of chai before i answer this question <laughs> I think that this product exists because of convenience. It has a lot of potential because of the convenience that it offers. Imagine buying an engagement ring which also has this feature. Also smart rings which can track your steps, heart rate, etc. already exist in the market. So those rings can also integrate this technology and that would be super cool. So people who don't like to wear smart watches can buy smart rings. That should definitely happen. So the technology behind this ring is excellent. They have a lot of potential, but they have to build on it.
Well, first up, let's talk about the price. This ring will cost you 4,500 rupees, which is definitely a premium price. And currently it's available by invite only. So you will require an invite code and that's where I come in. You can use this code and order the ring. Now let's answer the question, should you buy it? I feel that if you find this product useful and cool, then you can definitely go ahead and buy it. I feel that this technology is new and is going to be adopted by a lot of brands. A smart ring with this feature would be the ideal combination. So if you want to wait for that, you can definitely do that. Now quick disclaimer that this video is not sponsored at all. I paid the full amount, ordered this product because I find the technology exciting. So anyway, that's been it. Do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.